<laughs> All right. Right on the set. Getting ready to go live on the radio. Zoom Room Video Communications brought to you by the BMC. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. Ain't no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo of Labs and Jack. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. <clears throat> And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. That's right. Jack, quit yeah. a mic today. You gotta love when he and, doesn't. Uh... Well, you, you cut out like right into you in the middle of a... Uh, yeah, your, I don't know what uh, the intro. hell is going yeah. on. This Discord just driving me nuts. May have to uh, do something about this. We'll see. Let's see if we can... Uh... Bring that down just a little bit, so it doesn't yeah. kill everybody. But <clears throat> you you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna try to do now. something. Yeah, something, something. something. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It's Whacked Out Wednesday, right here inside and outside Tragedy Avatar, March six, two thousand nineteen. For the record, welcome to the show today. And I already see a bunch of you regulars out there crowding on in. We see a Condus and Botox and Twilight Tempest. I see uh, yeah. Zeke snuck in right before uh, we came on. Bombs yeah, and, here hanging and out and yes, Yesterday I was <laughs> crafting and playing uh, Overwatch and <laughs> Zeke decided to sit on my face yeah, while I was crafting. He likes doing that while you're... Uh, yeah, there at the crafting tables. Yeah, and the the funny part is, I, I don't think he realizes that whenever I'm at a crafting table, I'm generally also playing something else. Pew pew pew. Because pew. Uh, you, you know what? That two and a half minutes per twenty wood scrap. That's right. That's a competition round, ain't it? I mean, yeah, com <laughs> comp. I only play comp. <clears throat> but yes. uh... All sorts of interesting stuff been happening out there this week, and of course, uh, <clears throat> oh, today, geez, yeah. today is no exception. We've got a couple other interesting clips for you. Again, a uh, very long and interview this past Saturday. <clears throat> we've got some new sales items. We have new sales items. Ooh, well, let's, uh, Ooh. okay, well, hold on. Yeah. Let's uh, get the uh, normal portion. stuff up. Want to do yeah. the sales items first today, or you want to do well, uh, by the numbers? Uh, take well, your pick. okay. So, hey, so I got new rewards let, too. Look at that. Yeah, you did because <coughs> you, you know what? Subscriptions uh, started going through and being processed. I had several go through, and imagine ah, that. Yes. What happened to the 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 amount Ooh. of money? It jumped substantially to where it's currently at twenty two four ninety nine. Uh, out of 30,000, so almost to the Dark Star Throne in the reverse colors of Maybe. the one that's sitting on the lot right now. So yeah, 900 cause... crowns. So for this sub, we're getting 900 crowns. Yeah, I think Oops. we need some more art people. That would be the reverse of the one that's right here. Ah, there you me. go. Yeah, again, I, I think that's going to be pretty interesting to see uh, what that looks like in reverse color there. Yeah. Um, what else did I get? 
So. Or is it just the Kodos this round? Well, it it was pretty much just the Kodos, um, as well as the potions. Um, I didn't see any of the other release items that came in. Yeah, yet. no. <clears throat> Nothing yet. Speaking of uh, the release and, and items... I, uh... I need to start selling my Obsidian Potion rewards, because <laughs> I've got a lot of them. Hey, I might be able to turn you on to a guy. It's uh, funny, that, funny that, you that, say that. That uh, likes to buy those? Well, there was a post uh, the other day in the forums. A guy was looking to buy some, so I reached out to him and sold him, like, my whole entire inventory. <laughs> So, yeah. uh, <clears throat> but, uh, so I have a ton of them. Yes, uh, he was paying a nice penny for it, uh, so I'll get you the link and uh, I'll send yeah. that to you here. But before we do that, I uh, wanted to uh, get this out to everybody uh, here because this is a question I've seen several times already and I just don't know why people haven't figured this out yet. So I'm going to share this with everybody around here. Hopefully that goes out right. Yeah, so okay. if you two yeah. all want to uh, yeah. take a look that at this. That link's in Discord. Huh? And you yeah, can see other fun, other fun things uh, <laughs> uh, where really 61 items were not rewarded. Not received. Yes, uh, people are complaining they see them on their account, but they never yeah. got them. So, uh, of course, Wizard Smoke has given us a reply here. Wait, 61 is now going to be at least until release 64? So three months behind? That doesn't seem right. Yeah, it's two months behind. They'll be... Given in 64, so 61 and 62, yeah, 63, they work on them, and then 64, you get them. I mean, if you want to look at it, it could be four months if you want to look at it but from another standpoint. But uh, always a couple months behind, then yes, we still haven't finished the it was, release. It, it, was, it was more efficient than that. It, it didn't used to be that long. It was... Always a minimum it, of a month to a month and a half. It used to be a month. And it was an average of two yeah, months a on month. norm. And then some items took two, three months. Now everything's two, three months. But, uh, yes, these rewards are always uh, lagging behind. They're always a couple episodes behind each other. So just because they've been awarded on your account does not mean they've been physically rewarded in-game, folks. Just because you're rewarded on your account does not mean they've been rewarded in-game. Nope. Um, and if you all read the release notes or if you uh, follow our show, one of those things that we suggest everybody do, or nobody do, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> yeah. That's right. But, uh, I was going to do something else. Did I hit uh, Universal well, Chat it, it, yet today? I don't think I no, did that pro either. Pro probably not, but while you're doing that, bring up the uh, the uh, sale items, and you can see that things are on sale that are yes. new. what's on sale today? Am I going to be buying anything today? No, you're not going to be buying look. anything. Haunted Galleon? No, don't want that one. I'll wait for the pirate ship. I think I'm going to buy the pirate ship if it goes on sale. Well, what's a damn problem? You ain't listening. No. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were talking about you. We were talking like, about uh, you and all sorts of shit, and you off getting yourself a cup of coffee or in the shitter or something like that. Hey, I man, know. I'm going to tell you what. When you wake up at 1130 in the morning, and you, hey, you ate two hey. bags of Doritos or not, but some things do take precedence. You understand? I do. Hey, what about the days where I wake up four minutes before the, uh... Before he's uh, got to be on the Before the, the show. Well, yeah. that's because you got a drug problem. What, insulin? That's right. Well, hell, I don't know what yeah. you do. I got a question for you guys, since y'all are some gurus in the online shopping business. Yeah. Okay. What's what's a white wyvern run? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen one for sale. You're about to. That, You're fixing uh, to show one to the whole world because I've never seen one either. But uh, by God, I take 
I Woodrow Beefcakes, Low Mary Dane, and myself tamed one this mm-hmm. morning at about 2.30 a.m. Nice. Central Standard Time. Uh, Storm has a few. Yeah, I was going to say, they're not all that rare. I and, believe I've got one sitting in my backpack. I've had one. I think I've got all the colors sitting in my backpack. Kiss my ass. Have you got a black one? <laughs> there isn't a black one. Uh, There's red, yes. blue, yellow, yeah, and white. Is it? I don't know. Now you got. Now you got me curious. Now I got to go look at my purple. pets. The now, purple, yeah, we, is, yeah, we we did have a question about the today's patch adding the envy anvil. Angel Envy Angel weapon drop in, yeah. Um, which made me go go look at the patch notes and to realize that you know what, there was a patch right before the show. There was at least uh, that that's we, what we, the we don't patch have. notes say, but uh, yeah. didn't happen. We didn't see I'm, it. Uh, I'm just yeah. pleased that they finally got that yeah. damn mining for you into the Coda store. I went and looked at Laz's the other day and rode in that damn cart for what, Laz? About an hour. Oh man, <laughs> you having so much wait, fun. Wait. Was that before or after you were trying to receive something from me while I was crafting? That was you you, you, you were, were, you were standing like in front of me for before. a while. That was over the weekend. You were at the fair. Yeah, so you where, were gone. Where, where, where is it now? Is it back in the foyers? I don't know. I'm I'm logging into the game right now. I still don't see it there. Oh, what the hell? I still don't see it there. Well, if any of the devs and maybe it's in featured items. What are you looking for, Les? The minecart five entrance uh-huh. foyer. Yeah, because I'm fixing to buy that today. That sucker is nice. Uh, yeah, I still let's... don't see it here. Everybody loves Big Thunder Mountain. That's right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. To see it, uh, yeah. Me and Zeke were doing the airplane. Oh yeah, it was cool. There, and then uh, he got out some. Uh, what was it? Uh, the dueling banjos. While I was yeah, I was the playing the dueling specter. I got some video I got some... of it. I should probably clip that and uh, throw it in. Kind of cool. <laughs> we were Riding a around a track. Around. That's right. I'm fixing to buy one, and I'm fixing to, like, turn it into BMC Underground Central. Oh, you know, as, uh, I was just looking at that uh, as well. You know, I told you I put the little uh, jail out in uh, Journey's End. And then I had to be thinking that I could probably take and put a jail basement and then just do a whole jail... Um, yeah, just an offshoot. Nothing just, but a jail. Just nothing but a jail, including an underground dungeon jail built inside yeah. there. So I, I think I'm going to have to... I'm going to put one. my throne room. I'm going to hmm. put an underground hmm. pool. Man, there's going to be fishing grottos all over that thing. And, yeah, same thing, you know. Big fishing uh, place uh, like I'm doing over in uh, Snug. But talking about online marketplace gurus, i tell you what, one of those... Lovely things about running an online marketplace is getting up Someone at three o'clock things? in the morning to make a delivery once you're already <clears throat> in bed. Um, I saw, uh, I saw that. I <laughs> saw you come on. You came online while we were hunting wyverns. While you were doing yeah. that last night, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, that's because he said, "Hey, he said, Laz hey, Laz was... just came on. Maybe he would want to come out." And I was yeah. like, "No, I don't think that's Laz. He's some." He's either sleepwalking or somebody <laughs> hacked his account. No, it's more like he sold something on Shroud Marketplace it's and he had to more go deliver like it. I was laying in bed and my phone went off and it said, oh man, hey, somebody's got money. waiting for, hey, hey, yeah, that's right. Hey, you got money in your <laughs> account. Go, go go deliver something. And uh, tell you what, one of the reasons why I love this shit so much is because, yeah, that's right, even you can do it. Three third, three o'clock in the morning. I'm up delivering bulk ore to somebody because bulk ore sells. Okay, so uh, just to let you know, yes, uh, shroudmarketplace.com. If you got consumables, you got anything that you think is uh, something's worthwhile, including wyverns like Zeke here. Uh, you too can sell them on the marketplace, uh, all over the place. So there's a market for make just about sure, everything. Make sure your rig is set up to run a game based on a browser. Now, Zeke, 
I'm not going to say anything about numbers, but uh, you recently asked me about a certain item I sell, and I sent you a screenshot this morning. Did oh, you like that? man. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> and they're selling all over the world. I'm uh, telling Gus you, Balls? Man. Yeah, Gus Balls. Gus is, Balls, since you were talking about that the other day. Zeke, come to me. Yeah, you were here for the conversation. Yeah. He's like, what's the story with those things? I'm like, dude, man, they sell. People buy them. <laughs> so um, this morning I got up, and in my in my box, I sold three of them today. Oh, <laughs> you mean the portable training dummies? Yes, portable training yeah. dummies. Exactly. Portable training those. dummies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, and if you don't know about that, uh, ask us after the show. We'll tell you a little bit about that. But uh, I had to just take a screenshot and send it to Zeke just to show him, you know, three sales in a day. And, uh, of course, he laughed. And if you want to know where to buy them in-game from the No, I've, I know where to buy them. It's just, you know, <laughs> hey, the I'm thing is, me. the I'll thing is, where is to buy I, <laughs> I was basically just trying to find stuff to, you know, I was getting some vendors up off the ground and I just wanted to get them stocked with stuff that people wanted in the world. But also I didn't want to undercut my buddy Laz, right? So I That's came right. to him, I said, hey man, what are you charging for Gus Balls, right? He told me and I was like, you got to be shitting me, man. And he's yeah. like, no. Sure enough, I throwed them all, I throwed them on vendors all over the world and Damn, the mail started coming in. I've got a mail right now I need to read. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, people pick them up. I've, I've, I've sold two and three to the same people. Um, people like to give them away as gifts as well. And uh, not everybody's, uh, A, willing to go search out Digit and find him uh, where he's yeah. at. and uh, Out in our doors. Yes, I mean, of uh, course. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, I tell everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, but... But at the same time, I'm going to tell you guys something. Also, our do maneuvering around in our doors is a bitch. Well, yeah. if you don't know where you're going, it, everything's a yeah. bitch. Yeah, Doris Jeanette, she's got a great, great inventory of items that people buy all the time. But if you want to chase her down on her schedule, you go ahead and chase that merchant down. Or you can buy it from me. I've already done the legwork for you. And my merchants don't run all over the world. And hell in creation or sleep, so you know, yep. easier to find that way. Yeah, see, Condis is like I avoid a Doris. Spiff, Spiff won't yeah, go into a Doris <laughs> or Brittany because uh, he's just scared of those places. Oh no, I love a Doris. I go there. <laughs> oh, do you time. go to a Doris? Okay, I th oh, thought yeah. that was yeah, the one you didn't go to. The lag monster lives there. Yeah. I shit you not. <laughs> no, I have no problem with the Doris. It's only Brittany. Peggy, how you doing? Lancel, darling, how you doing there today? Good to see you out there. Good to see you. And of course, yeah, I still haven't gotten to this. Let's get this. Let's let the What is this? Know. What's going on here? What are you people doing here? Nothing. 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 I poke too much. That's right. That's Zeke's problem today. <laughs> yep. But we do have updates for the patches that will be coming out very, very soon. If not, if you just logged into the game, there is an Aloha uh, Lancel. Lance yeah. yeah. Uh, she's the only one that I know that actually says Mahalo. Uh, a but yes. Regular customer of Scroll. Oh, and, oh, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I, had to, I had to deliver like several hundred scrolls to her on Friday before I left to uh, uh, the Ren Fair. But patch number 926 is the notes are out. I will say that much. Is Whether or not the... It, well, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. But patch, patch notes uh, say that they fixed issues with some artifact weapons not being valid for masterwork and enchanting. Added the minecart dungeon foyer to the crown store. So speaking of that, patch notes. So update yeah, your yeah, game client yeah. if you want to go buy that sucker. Um, fixed issue with pattern removers not working on some items. Fixed merchant generic name inconsistency in Desolus. In Al's head, the compass marker that indicates you should update Wycliffe about Norman now goes away at the appropriate time. It still doesn't mark the NBNN lot properly. It's a, it's a north of the bank, north of the real hey. bank. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how do you uh, get them to clean houses off of soda map that were placed there before they bought it? 
You do it. Like in your POT. You change the map, <clears throat> and it should automatically update eventually. Yeah, there's two layers on that map, and uh, let's get through this, and then we'll get over to Soda Map. We'll show you how to do that on stream. And then after that, uh, plain paid armor no longer displays incorrect green and red colors. Uh, resource nodes, they fixed issues. With unreachable resource nodes, Necropolis Barons, they improved the nav mesh in the area of the Envy Angel House to help NPC pathfinding. Steam coming from pipes and Resolute is no longer overlay opaque. Out in a high veil outskirts, they fixed an issue with Huntsman Sven and the unwearable Plate Helm of Courage quest item. And then you also had build number 925 that came out last night. But yeah, as far as the Envy Angel bow dropping, we don't know yet. It's not in there. Any yeah, of again, I'm I'm on 925. You should be on 925. Uh... But 926 is the most recent one. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm on 926. Ay, no es bueno. Yeah, 926. 926 has the... The, your, the mine cart foyer that you're looking for. That, that's store. why it's not there. So you you yeah. pr probably be able to buy it now today. Uh, I just we have to patch. I was going to say I'm looking for it on the. Yeah, yeah, you're not. Yeah, man, I'm at your lot. It's empty. We ain't there. We there, just we there, not just there. Not in another. Uh... Yeah. In another instance. See. Yeah. You're you're a bunch of bloody magicians. <laughs> that, that is exactly what it is. We are a bunch of magicians. Did I shout out to Skeggy out there already? Yeah, it, I'm, yeah. I'm a little behind this morning. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I don't I know, know what why. you do before the show. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> uh, I think I know what you did before I the show. I think we all know. All right, uh, moving right along. What else we got for the boys and girls today? Uh, you know what we haven't done in a while? Um, received uh, tips to open up a uh, uh, giveaway. Well, that too. Is, uh, haven't, oh. haven't done a stand-up in a while. Well, that's because uh, the other day there was no stand-up. It, I, there hasn't been a stand-up since Friday, as a matter of fact. But you know what? See, I, see I, that, that, that's that's why we didn't do them. As I, but we didn't do them on Friday either, I don't think. And I don't think we did one on Monday or Tuesday. Because well, uh, we got an NFG in there. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we do have so, NFG in there. Uh, I, I think, so I think Friday, we should uh, get to yeah. that and uh, we'll, tell we'll some cover folks. We'll cover Fridays, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, then, and then we're going to poke some fun at the fact that now that you're telecommuting does not mean you can stop doing your stand-ups. Exactly. <laughs> so on Friday, remember, does say, hey, I worked on this yesterday. I'm working on this today. Something random gets written down. Eventually, things get posted to the interwebs, and we get to interpret it so you don't have to. That's right. Yeah. So on Friday, over in the art department, Damon, he was working on... The Dragon Sword. Over in design, Beezus working on forums and bugs. Bug. Sanyo is working on OT work. Although it's supposed to be pot work. Uh, and bug fixes. Bug. And computer recovery. Recovery? I know. The Energy Vortex, List Rostov working on store stuff. Webcam setup, because he's going to be pretty soon featuring himself on everybody's favorite cam site, uh, Chatterbait. <laughs> and then after that, he's going to be working on bugs. Bugs. And mostly putting items on the store. Like that mine card. Yeah. He won't be, he won't be setting up that webcam for... For Twitch, he's going to be setting up that webcam for something else. Hey, he's got to make money somehow. Got it. Got to make money somehow. <laughs> and, yeah. Then over in Tech, love you, guys. So this is what he gets for not showing up to the lot during the show. That's right. Let's see, no, no list, no list. Uh, then after that, uh, over in 
Tech Dr. Bob working on crashing his computer while debugging store issues with the wizard and fixing map issues and pot updates and resetting stretch goal counter and forms. Mm. J JY working on ops work and forms and bugs. Bug. Wizard Smoke working on bugs. Bug. And bugs. Bug. And Kibana visualizations for the store and crown conversion, store data, adding items, and cleaning up a featured selection. Now, today, this hump day, it is the Deathbringer's one and only birthday. Happy but on birthday! Friday, he was working on speedweed shenanigans. Speedweed. Yeah, he was trying to take lessons from uh, Laz, but he forgot what he was doing. Huh? Huh? What? What are, what are we doing around here? Girl. The burning the burning toad working on support email server move and customer service and builds. And over Hello, in customer support please. Anna NFG Anna working on the through the ticket backlog. And I can tell you she's getting it done, folks. So, yes, you, you know what? If you are a, a Kickstarter or you, you know what? You still haven't received your, your your box. Go ahead and send in another support ticket. Ask them to confirm information and then send it again and send it again and send it again. And Lord British, uh, or I'm sorry, over in useless overhead, Lord British was updating the game and checking out new digs for Monday Night Dance Party and General Bidness. And no business. The Dippy Bird working on cleaning out the office and set up the new home office and unpacked enough stuff so that he can walk through his uh, new office and garage. The Dork Star working on live stream prep and stretch goal prep and really 63 launch posts and prep for the Friday email. And that's what our devs said they were working on on Friday. On Friday. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, did you uh, notice uh, what was on today's uh, login, yeah, daily message? <clears throat> no. A daily message. Show us your moves at the dance party today yeah. at 3 to 6. Yay. That thing that was on Monday? The thing that happened a couple days ago. Come on, Two guys. Two days ago? Simple yeah. enough. Hey, Easy hold, hold stuff. <laughs> I, I, I have to prepare for... For that thing that I'm going to on Friday. So I, I had to start putting on my garb. Gonna start putting it on now? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, speaking of uh, informational updates, don't forget, next week is a short week, because we will not I... be here till Thursday because, next week. Because instead of wearing this, I want to be wearing He's going to actually bag. have a real sleeve work done, that's right. I'm going to be having color. <laughs> Got to be one of the most expensive tattoo jobs I've I ever know. seen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Fly, the, flying back and forth to Florida it, and peace and forth. hotels and everything else. <laughs> but you're hey, not the, even crashing on his couch for crying out loud. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> he's got three dogs in his uh condo, and so you don't want to share a couch with the dogs. Yeah, because I kind of laid down a little bit on one of them, and I ended up with a. a a dog actually jumping on my face uh one of the <laughs> nights where we were hanging out at his uh condo and then he's also got a uh, roommate that's his cousin that oh, doesn't fun. pay rent fun all right yeah. anyway and as he up. refers to him as freeloader <laughs> um yeah you can't talk about people's family like that on the... Uh, shh. I didn't <laughs> what? tell you that. <laughs> uh, he, I'm not yeah. talking about it. But he, he, he also makes his cousin work for him as well as his assistant. So oh, well, funnier. there you go. <laughs> per personal assistant who doesn't do... Uh... Per, 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 personal assistant, yeah. So it's like, I got a call from him the other day. It's like, hey man, just making sure you're still flying in for the tattoo appointment next week. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and he's like, hey, don't forget to bring me uh, chocolates uh, again. 
And it's like, dude, it's not Valentine's Day anymore. Valentine's is over. Yeah. And you don't, yeah. The, you guy, the guy holding the needle, man, you bring him chocolates if he tells you to bring him chocolates, whether it's Valentine's Day or not. Mm. <clears throat> well, the, the, the chocolates mm. were for the assistant, not for the guy holding the needle. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's well. you guys. <laughs> Yeah, well, then the yeah. assistant's probably more important. He's the guy who gets you in, you know, so... Exactly. <laughs> He's the one that makes sure that, that I'm uh, uh, being booked quite frequently. So, yeah. There you go. I'll, I'll probably right. stop by a gas station, get him some chocolates. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, again, uh, we got a couple sound bites uh, from Chris Spears from this past weekend's uh, Wake Up... New Britannia wolfed him in You prison. bet your sweet bippy. That's right. You bet oh, your sweet Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Uh, reset and giveaway. Someone just opened up the giveaway on my oh, stream. Oh, man. Entered. Yay. <coughs> giveaway is open. Don't forget, if you want a chance to win uh, 20 teleport dissolve for Sun Squirrels, you need to go to my stream and then do bang. I love this shit. Morning, Maynard. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Which means Laz will open up his eventually. Eventually. Yeah, so we do have SoundCloud bits from this weekend's uh, Saturday morning's Wake Up New Britannia show, in case you missed it. You ready for it? Uh, one second, let me get them both ready here. You remember this is on SoundCloud? Works. Wait, which one are we doing? Gonna do uh, first one first. Uh, wait, wait, really hold, hold know. on, hold on. Now, now I got to figure out whether or not there's two of them that you posted earlier. Yes, there are. Because I have one of them for sure. Okay, so <laughs> figure it out. Okay, so so which one are we doing? The the one you posted first or the one you posted first, second? First one first, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so. That is loaded, so three, two, one, play. He says, what happened with the graphics in game? Banana trees, are they going to stay? Uh, and just in case you don't know, banana tree leaves appear when you're in the fastest and fast video mode settings at the moment. Uh, so that is all stuff. There's uh, some new technologies we're trying to take advantage of which is called uh, texture streaming. And what this does is, for those, just give a little tech talk, uh, when you have a texture in game, it's not just one texture. It's one that'll be the full resolution, and then you have about eight copies of it that are each half the size of the previous one going down, and those are called uh, uh, MIP maps. Uh, so that when things are far away, rather than taking this big texture and having the GPU try to crunch down to be a small texture, which is really expensive. Uh, involves going over lots of memory. It uses a smaller texture and just have to map that down. So what the streaming texture uh, stuff does, and this is something that just went in this last release, is rather than loading all nine variations of that texture, uh, it only loads the ones that it needs, and it loads them basically as needed. So it'll load the low resolution stuff. So this is really important for towns, uh, for your memory footprint, and also for load times in the towns, uh, but also for performance too. But the, the thing we're experimenting now, or with now, which I've already seen some major bugs with it, and I think we're going to have to change some numbers on it, is making that streaming stuff fit into a smaller memory footprint at the lower text or lower uh, resolutions. But right now it seems to be picking some bad uh, numbers for different textures. So we've, we've got to go back and tune some of that stuff. So no, we should get it back to a more normal looking view and still get the benefits. But uh, yeah, I think somebody sent us, posted a screenshot not too long ago in a tavern where it looked like, you know, every texture was uh, flat colored, flat shaded, but it was because it was using like the lowest resolution texture for the MIP map uh, due to some bad stream logic. But anyways, we've got some more work to do on that. No, it, we we hope by R64 we'll have it back to a point where it looks like it did uh, two releases ago. Mm, all right. So, oh, yeah. Yes. It, it, <clears throat> so anybody textures. who's curious about all that uh, texture problem, uh, again, Chris says, uh, hopefully by 64 with the new tech they've got working, 
that this will resolve itself. Now, I've seen some yeah. of it get fixed. Of course, you well, all know you, the Herald. You run the game on fastest, though. So <clears throat> yes, exactly. I, it, so Laz <clears throat> sees those issues much more than I do. So. And um, again, there was the heraldry problem that affected just about everybody. There's uh, some real weird stuff with some of the fire animations and. They're cleaning it up and trying the new technology again, part of the, uh, as you heard, trying to get that memory footprint down as small as possible to optimize things for everybody and try and get the best results even in the fastest uh, settings. And Maynard, good morning to you as well. Maybe mm -hmm. Jack will be able to play it on his laptop eventually. Maybe. Again. Eventually. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> again, yes, absolutely. It's been a long time since I've been able to play the game on my laptop. Is uh, again, you know, you and I, we can both log in. We just can't move much. <clears throat> yeah, well, it, well, it's like it. It's it, so. It's painful. easier to remote into my rig. <laughs> than it yeah, is. that's what I generally do. Yeah, but uh, that was uh, one clip, and then this one I got a laugh because uh, again. Um, there's, there's a PvP clip I want to get to, but I don't think we'll get to that today, but, uh, this, this one was, uh, Justin calling him out, uh, on something, and I think everybody, especially all those, uh, crafters and deco folks will get this one. Okay, um, we, <clears throat> let me know when you're ready yep, for this whenever one. you're ready. Three, two, one, play! And again... Uh, everybody knows I'm a PvP guy, but I'm also Wait, I know hold we on, need to hold, on. Stop, you know, hold some stop, hands, stop. get people. But I've got the PvP one. Listen uh, to it. Just where's the... <laughs> okay? Just listen to it. So so go back to play. Just hit play. A little more used to PvP, and we don't have a an easy way to do that right now, except for dueling. So this will be a good way to do that: is have no Maybe ransom this is the PvP, PvP Man, zones where players just can turn go and the experiment sideways. with it and have other goals in mind as well. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Mm. I'm happy and scared all at the same time. I don't... <laughs> I'm one of those uh, needs hand-holding kind of people when it comes to... Yeah, that wasn't the clip I wanted. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are we going to stick with Armelian's question? What do you mean, Armelian's question? What do you mean? Okay, I guess I just when, when I it. said that's not the clip I wanted, I stopped. Uh, I assume you no, stopped, okay. or did you just continue playing because you're just? Yeah, I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Now again, we addressed the Merlin's question yesterday, yeah. which was the yeah. uh, cap, and Chris uh, determined and says that he's about the only one that hits that cap. So, yeah, again, yeah. he thinks the numbers aren't working on that one. But uh, the one I wanted, I, I guess the clip didn't uh, bite where I wanted it to. Uh, oh, no. Let me see something nope. here. But, but I, I will <laughs> say that soft wipe for episode two thread is all the way at 13 pages now. Oh, yeah. that's uh, <laughs> It went from four <laughs> to 13. Is uh, People are out there discussing it. And there was another comment. On, you know, there was another discussion there that Darkstar already closed. Um, yeah, it was just they, they're getting carried away with it. And of course, uh, this is why we don't have these discussions in uh, Dev Plus anymore, in my opinion, is because it gets carried away like that. And nobody can get, you know, it's always a 50 50 or more likely it's a 40 40 with 10 percent abstaining. And, well, it, uh, yeah, well, it, I, I think it also becomes one where. Um, you have them make a decision. We are never going to have a checkbox for Hyde Helm. Well, yeah, and uh, since the, the two, two years two years <laughs> later, someone else comes back and says, "Hey, can we get a Hyde Helm option?" And then they're like, oh, "Great fine. idea." Never <laughs> going to do it. Never going to do it. Never yes. going to do it. Never going to do it. Never going to do it. Never going to do it. Fine. Since the PvP clip did play, and uh, we did get into that, uh, let's let's just touch on that for a second, okay? We know Chris is a big PvP. -er. We know PvP has been non-existent here, but yet he still wants to move forward with more PvP. 
and more. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> you, yeah know. you know what? It's easy. Faction system. Well, even at that, it's uh, more like that meme that we've been seeing a lot of. You've probably seen it three dozen times on Facebook and all over the place, where there's a room in the background where all a bunch of kids are playing, and there's a little kid playing in another room by himself, happily going on. <clears throat> and the teacher yeah. leads the kid off in the next frame by the hand, going, you'll have more fun over here in melee mode, open world, PvP with everybody else. And the kid's like, man, I was just having fun what I'm doing. You know, dudes, you know, hey. the PvP it's, here is not it, 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 going It's the same well. as you doing the quest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the yeah. it, same as you doing the quest mm -hmm. or other people not doing the quest. I mean, do, you play the game that you want to, but since we are playing not in the single player version of it. We're playing in the, the multiplayer version of the game. You have to fragment everything so that way lots and lots of people That's not faction. Uh, can actually engage in things. <clears throat> uh, and Condis, I would not call the Guild War system. Yeah, the Guild War system um, is inherently still broke. Because if I yeah. player war, yeah, I would not call that guild, factions. Everybody in my guild becomes mm -hmm. PvP. PvP flagged. And they have no say whether I flag for war or not in the guild. Same thing goes with well, another guild leader. They need they mm -hmm. need to revamp the guild permissions altogether. Yeah, well, this Yeah. <clears throat> That's gonna be uh I'm I'm fixing to start raising a flag on that. That's yeah. a long time coming. Is 2016? We were at Dragon Con. I've got the paper. Well, I've got the paper towels with the uh, notes and drawings and ideas <clears throat> that were hashed out back in 2016 about faction systems with Lord British, and it went in and as jeers as we spoke right from Dragon Con, and here we are, 2019, still no factions. Well, they don't have they don't have the guild system set up correctly. I mean, it's set up, but I mean, you you don't have enough control over a guild to assign permissions to certain members of the guild. Absolutely, I, I, um, you, you need people that can recruit, but then you also need separate people, if any, to kick because you get, you know you get a bad apple into your guild. And make them an officer. Well, shit, they can destroy your guild if they got in under some cloud of, Absolutely. you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. We need uh, guild titles. We need more inherent permissions. There's a lot of work that needs to go into that. But uh, my my big kicker on this is that the idea that Chris seems to be chasing on this one is uh, the no consequence pvp more pvp where there is no loot there's no ransom or um they were contemplating a system where if somebody kills you in a pvp scene they just can't bolt after collecting the ransom and you know what again i don't see it you know when i was a pvp -er, the reason why i pvp is for the kill and for the loot and if there's no right. loot, there's no there's no reason for me to want to be part of that and if yeah you need to you need yeah. to have it to where if you're in pvp mode Listen, it, it's, it's made, all or nothing in pvp you yeah. can't do this you, you get your prize you can I'm get sorry. the hell out of there you can't do it yeah is let's get more pvp where there are no consequences yeah uh, you don't need see. to make right. pvp does not need to be care bear land care yeah. bear land is firmly established absolutely pvp needs yeah. to be balls to the wall yeah, it yeah. needs to be full open PvP, full loot, and those are the consequences you get. And if it goes to that, then I got no problem yeah. giving those guys right. bonuses and you need to make the PvP for playing zone. PvP. Yeah. yeah, and the PvP yeah. zones need to be enticed. I mean, you need to entice people there. Put the rare item rare. In, in the PvP, PvP zones. zones. Rare. Yeah, yeah. Not, I mean, the, not the, commodities the stuff. that people need. Rares. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 stuff that people want, not the stuff people need. The stuff yes. people want. Yeah, but uh, go going the uh, let's ease them into PvP. Listen, PvPers, including myself, know what we want in a PvP world, and this is not it. Okay, consensual PvP. 
I'm sorry, Chris. It's never been one thing that I've liked of this game. You're never going to convince me otherwise until it's a full loot system. No. Until that time, you know. Yep. You're never going to convince me. Yeah. You, you, you know what? You need a, you need a, you def, I mean, it's like, that's why it's like I, whenever the PVP subject comes up, I say faction system. Yeah. Uh, you you, you need ways to put something hard extra. into this game. Thank you, Torque. Um, but yeah, you need something that's going to engage the PVPers and give them a reason for PVPing. So making <clears throat> not just resources, but rares only available in PVP zones. Right. Rare drops and stuff like yes. that. Now, now then, make them. Yeah, I'm make, not saying I'm not saying making rare drops uh, only in PVP zones, but make the drop rate in the PVP zone. A little better a little than better. anywhere else. Twice, twice as good as other places. Three yeah. times, four times. I mean, oh, it, 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 well, then if you, you remember a it, market of high level yeah. yeah. players. If you remember the the bitch fest that came out when a if you were PvP flagged and your group was PvP flagged, it gave you what a ten percent bonus to XP. Still then the number of people that fucking whined about that it's like you can't make people happy one way or you can't, another you can't do that yeah these yeah. these people that are whining look you've got your care bear lamp all right trammel has been reestablished. yeah <laughs> we need we need to get some some hardcore stuff in there so the people that are out there in the world that have you know blood in their teeth blood in their mouth want you know will come to the game and actually compete with each other yeah, you know, and yep. again, uh, that new area out uh, where, again, you can go out and hunt and uh, fight, you know, for those uh, obsidian coins. You know, I've, I've been out there, too, with other people. And coincidentally, and guys. Nobody's using it. Coincidentally, see, the, the people that have been crying and, and bitching and complaining about this, they have been stifling the economy. The guys like the crafters in this game, they need that PvP crowd. They need those those villainous, murderous pieces of shit. Because, and I say that with a big <laughs> with, grin with on my love, face. With love in your heart, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I say that with complete admiration. But the crafters need that crowd. Because that's where, you know, that, that crowd comes to seek out the best mm -hmm. gear. Well, first off, not even that, okay? Here's here's part of why our economy isn't as good as it could be because if there was full PVP and full loot out there, a lot of people would be losing armor that these guys would be selling off for gold, and they would need new armor. Unlike the system like it is now, I I haven't needed a new set of armor in forever. You know why? <laughs> Because, I'm still yeah. using the set that Spiff gave me. Yeah, yeah it was uh, because repairs last quite a long time, especially when you're a merchant like myself. I mean, I go out, but not as often as others. But if I was out PvP and I lost all my shit, well, I still need to get a replacement. Even if it's a low-level replacement, it still needs to be replaced. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, that's yeah, they have. I sit on my ass all day, but uh, they have uh, sit. They have sit around, and I, I love the guys down at Port. I mean, I absolutely, do. Absolutely, but uh, but they is, have sit around and they have catered to these molly coddle. They have molly molly coddled these. You know, we want a Burger King game crowd, and they have forgotten <laughs> that. You know, hey, the PVPers. I don't care what game you play. The PVPers drive the economy. They want yeah. literally. Blood. Yeah, they want they're, blood. They're they're the ones that go hunting for all the good gear. They're the ones that will sacrifice the good gear, and uh, they will. They have a lot of fun. Um, the and they're the ones constantly testing out new things. So yes, yes indeed. Yeah. Thank you, Tor. So I hope I hope Chris or List or somebody in the office is listening to this and gets together and kind of puts their heads together on it because you need some mm. hardcore PvP. You need some stuff to where people say, "Okay, this is not easy." And the and the molly the molly coddlers they don't even go nowhere near those zones because they'll get their ass handed to them. But that they have no choice. They either go into that zone to get the stuff that they want. Or they unasked the gold to buy it. 
It, it's kind of like the other day where I spent an hour inside of Blood Bay looking for mm -hmm. uh, the bounty hunter that's hiding on the ship that I don't have access to. Freaking ghost that, town, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, and I was killing like Sobex and other things Find by myself. Sobex, yep. Yeah, fucking four <laughs> of them. Yeah, I, was just I always forget around. what that uh, adventure area is where the uh, hallway is where you can go PvP. But we went in with a few people just to uh, you know play play around with it and check the reward system. And first off, you know what? The amount of time and the way the timer in that scene works with all that stuff, um, we we bailed yep. out of there within a half hour because it was. So tedious sitting there waiting for the next round, waiting for the next round, waiting for the next round. You know what? Yeah. I'm not sitting around wasting my time waiting for the next round in this open PvP area. So oh, we, yeah, we yeah. left, you know? I mean, it was ridiculous. Was, uh, you know, we and, went and in yes, there to test the something out. And yeah. Next thing we know, we're bored to hell because, you know, well, we're waiting for the timer to start again, you know? I spent more time waiting for the timer yeah. than we actually did actually in the scene. I mean, it was ridiculous. The BMC started in Fallujah, in UO. Yeah. Yeah. And one of our biggest businesses was potions, right next to the Dungeon Covenants. I believe. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and PVPers would come in there at the shop. The only rule we had in that shop was don't spit on the floor and don't don't fight each other inside the shop. Now, go outside. No, no, blood, no, blood, no blood in the floor. That's no blood right. on the floor and don't spit on the counter, yada, yada, yada. And we, hey man, it was great. It was great when a couple of murderers come walk into your shop and say, okay, we need a potion, of, you know, we need a keg of this, a keg of that, yada, yada, yada. And you conduct business with them. And you're a blue. You're a blue guy. They don't kill you. Hey, I, I used to, uh, my favorite place to bank was uh, Buccaneer's Den. Buck's Den, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh, it, that, that that was my bank. Uh, I, I was gotta, I gotta bank. say, yeah. the one thing I really do miss is being a mobile shop. You know, taking whatever you had and going to some place like outside a bank and hawking what you sold right there to to the players. They didn't go to your vendors; they came right to you directly to wheel and deal. You know, <clears throat> and I think that made things a little bit more uh, interactive, personal. Hmm. Is Rada, what are we talking about there? <clears throat> yep, yep. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, big rewards, big, rewards, big, big risk. risk. Big absolutely. Risk. Yep. And but uh, you know what? You know what time it is? Um. Yeah. Geez, I didn't realize it was that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way past normal time, but of course that's what happens when we get talking about topics that are really hot out there <clears throat> and uh, affecting the player base and the community. Because uh, interesting stuff for interesting people. But uh, again, I think they're looking at that PvP all wrong. I've been uh, been, been vocal about it since day one, and uh, yeah, we'll continue to keep an eye on it, folks. Uh, again. Uh, go to these places, but uh, like Jack said, Blood Bay, the place where PvPers live, and he can walk around for an hour unmolested. Yeah, mm, and make it. sure to get your judges with Well, no, I was the only one in the instance. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You can walk around for an hour unmolested. There's nobody there. Absolutely. Nobody. <laughs> the ghost town. Not even the residents. <laughs> you know, and the thing is, is when I went to Blood Bay, for the first time to get my judge's wig, you know, my blood pressure got up. I expected to get ganked while I was in there. But just like Jack said, it's just a big damn disappointment. I got the thrill of going. I didn't get the thrill once I got there. Yep. Uh, I, I don't know. Is uh, When I got my judge's wig, I ran into a few friends who just happened to be PvPers. And they're like, oh, over here, Les. So, I mean, again, depends on who you are, who your friends are, and how, uh, you know. Yeah, well, how, the whole yeah, world hates, the whole world hates my guts. Yeah, I well, yeah. <laughs> anytime I <laughs> Anybody see Zeke, it's like open season. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> he ain't no shit now. <laughs> he kind of here too much. Donkey party without the donkey. <laughs> 
Anyway, moving right along, that's right. Don't forget the NBN and Tradity Avatar app available in Google Play, Apple iTunes, or Amazon app stores for all your electronic devices. The NBN and Tradity Avatar community calendar brought to us by hometownhero.com. Jack sucking on some of that tasty juice, and if you want to get your hands on some, go to hometownhero.com. Use the promo code NDNN, save yourself 20% off your purchase price. Quick calendar. That's right. And then BNN community calendars on nbnn.info. If I click on the calendar button, you two can look at this ag aggregated mess of all the Google public calendars related to Shroud of the Avatar that that guy knows about. If you have a Google public calendar related to Shroud and you want it hooked up, you need to email news at nbnn.info or uh, contact Laz via Discord and say, hey, please hook up my calendar. And he'll think about doing something with it. Uh, but all times on the community calendar, Central Time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia Time. Nude Britannia. Send all your nudes to nudes at nbnn.info and we will carefully curate them two minutes at a time. Monday through Friday, 12s and 6s around the clock. Whenever we feel like it, you can always tune in your ETH amplifiers to wait to your radio free Britannia to listen to two idiots doing things. We don't know what. Because we have no clue, no plan on Wadia Radio for Britannia. With lunch, with us. At 7 p.m., this is the 70s at 7, 8 o'clock in game. It is hump day, which means it's you're going to get your ear holes probed because the doctor is in. Yeah. And it is time for Eclipse Maiden to be doing some unmedicated schizophrenia. That means in game, you have Laz's favorite event of the week. That striker straw happy sparhawks hour. happy hour. Also known as Spin Sparhawks Gold. That's right. Go spend Sparhawks Gold and you two can make all kinds of great things happen. Uh, the final event of this uh week or Wednesday is Black going to be Atlas. the Wicked Womb on Wedia Radio Free Britannia. That's, That's with right. Waz's Wab. You better believe it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We were at Tavern Tuesday last night. We had a good time uh, out at Tavern Tuesday yeah. last night. Eh, Zeke? Yeah, man. Uh, we hung out a little bit in there. Yeah, we had a good time. As, uh, don't forget, you're tuned in to nbnn.info, twitch.tv slash cynicist, twitch.tv slash nbnn news, catching us in replays uh, on Twitch or on YouTube. If you like you what know, you see. You know, my giveaway is going to be awesome. Click, click on the follow buttons, click right on now. the subscribe buttons, click on the notification buttons. You know what to do. If you want to become a supporter, click on the links below. Click on the links that are about to appear right up here on screen. Let's get that up there for everybody. And of course, uh, you can go to the website, cryptocurrency accepted over there. Amazon Prime customers get a free monthly sub. We'd appreciate it if you use them on our streams. And of course, if you want to become a monthly supporter or a sponsor and get your name up on the big screen, go to patreon.com slash mdnn and check out the packages we have out there. Digital goods, physical goods, sponsor goods, all sorts of stuff. And uh, of course, check it out on patreon.com slash mdnn. And of course, don't forget the Britannian Mining Company for all your crafting good needs. If you're looking for crafting goods, go check out Black Rock Cove, located in the Quell region next to the town of Etzeter, and conveniently located next to those mines that you want to be near. Hometown Hero, get your free bottle. If you want to try before you buy, go out to hometownhero.com. Fill out your information. Pay shipping plus a penny. You'll get your first mystery bottle free. And for future purchases, use the promo code NBNN. Save you 10% off your purchase. Play on more wands. Scrotus Music Service. A couple services out there. Relics by Rilds for all your licensed Shroudity Avatar swag. 10% off <clears throat> when you check out at Relics by Riddle with the promo code NBNN. WRFB bringing you the latest in news and entertainment 24-7 around the clock, including us at 12s and 6s. And last but definitely not least, ShroudMarketplace.com, 
where you too can get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to make deliveries to your customers. But of course, that's what it's all about, folks. If you got goods you want to sell, ShroudMarketplace.com is the place to go. Jack's going to tell you all about it in a minute or less. In 30 seconds or less. <laughs> ShroudMarketplace.com is the place that you too can go to to buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. If you want to sell your stuff, you need to register an account. Then click on vendor registration on the left-hand side and start adding things. It's so easy that I can do it and Lass can do it. And That's he, right. as he's telling you, he, he sold <laughs> something last night, three o'clock in the morning and went and delivered it. But that's anything and everything game related from accounts to game gold to crowns of the obsidian all the way to services anything and everything that is not a bannable offense so you can find great services like uh leveling services cheese sound writing moms or refining service gus bowl host a game uh cheesy writing scrotus music service or even some dude offering a wedding package wedding at, in weddings that's right in in laza's store i mean you can go visit laza's store you can visit my store you can find visit wolfton's shop armelian's golden more skeggy media so that way he can fund his uh trip to soda that's right his sure, trip's so paid I, for already he just yeah. needs beer money <clears throat> we know yeah. he's already got his flight booked he's got his tickets and he's coming to town so now he needs pocket money for all those uh, cocktails yeah, he's going to be buying everybody. With those but it is, he's yeah. such a great guy. Yeah. Too. It I is know, I tell you, you got to love Skeggy. You got to love the whole community. And of course, that's uh, thanks to folks like you out there that keep us here. And uh, shit, we didn't even get any giveaway opened on this side today. So. I, I did, but so I've got to click on got close giveaway. To close and I've got, I've got to folks. click on pick a winner. <laughs> and the, pick, the winner is Maynard. Maynard. Who opened up the, the, the giveaway today? So, Maynard, congratulations. Congratulations. And of course, thanks to folks like you, we've been here season four in progress as we speak. Thanks to all of you good folks out there. We'll be back with more tomorrow right here on NBNN. Till then, I'm Les. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.